1953. Deep inside China's mountains, engineers marked their first dam site. They never knew that this small beginning would one day lead to the biggest dam project in human history. A $100 billion mega dam, planned in the Himalayas, three times bigger than the Three Gorges Dam, and sitting right above India and Bangladesh. For millions of families, this river is life. It waters their fields, it feeds their villages, it powers their homes. But soon, it could bring either light or darkness. And here's the real question. Will this dam power Asia's future? Or will it trigger the greatest water conflict of our time? Picture this, the world's deepest gorge, a river falling 2,000 meters, now trapped behind a wall of concrete. In this video, you'll uncover how China's Himalayan mega dam could light millions of homes or ignite new wars across Asia. The story begins in the 1950s. China was poor, broken from war, and desperate to rise. Leaders searched for a path to modern power. They looked to the rivers. The first wave of dams was small. Simple hydropower plants spread across valleys. Each one was a brick in the wall of China's modernization. It wasn't about size. It was about survival. Through the 1960s and 1970s, more dams came. They provided electricity to new factories. They lit up cities that once sat in darkness. Every dam was a symbol. China will rise. But the real turning point arrived in the 1990s. On the mighty Yangtze River, engineers built a project the world thought impossible. The Three Gorges Dam. When it was finished in 2003, the world gasped. It was the largest dam on Earth. It stretched two kilometers wide. It could generate 22,500 megawatts of power, enough to light tens of millions of homes. For Beijing, this was not just concrete. It was a crown jewel, a message to the world. China had mastered the river, but power brings hunger. The success of the Three Gorges Dam did not end the dream. It made leaders ask a new question. If we can build the biggest dam on Earth, why stop here? That hunger would soon turn their eyes north to the Himalayas, a river deeper, faster, and more dangerous than the Yangtze, a river that flowed straight toward India and Bangladesh. And that brings us to the next chapter. But after building the world's largest dam, where could China possibly go next? The 2000s brought a new obsession. China's scientists began studying satellite maps of Tibet. What they saw stunned them. A river called the Yarlung Tsangpo cut through the Himalayas. At one point, it made a giant curve, the Great Bend. Here, the river plunged nearly 2,000 meters into the world's deepest gorge. For engineers, this was not just a river. It was the holy grail of hydropower, a natural force so powerful it could run turbines for half of Asia. Whispers spread in Beijing's planning rooms. Could this gorge hold the largest dam in human history? Could China trap the power of the Himalayas? By 2015, the secret was no longer just whispers. In official documents, the Yarlung Tsangpo project was quietly included in China's national energy plans. No grand announcement, no headlines, just one line in a policy paper, enough to signal the dream was alive. For Beijing, this site was more than numbers. It wasn't just about megawatts, it was about control. Control over water that flowed into India and Bangladesh. Control over energy that could change the balance of Asia. The Great Bend was not only powerful, it was also dangerous. Its size meant unimaginable strength. Its location meant unavoidable conflict. What began as a discovery on a map now stood as the next frontier of power. China had found the perfect site, but perfection always comes with a price. So the question rises, but what makes this Himalayan gorge so powerful and so dangerous? The secret of the Great Bend was its raw force. Nowhere else on earth does a river fall with such speed and violence. In just 100 kilometers, the Yarlung Tsangpo plunges nearly 2,000 meters. No other river in the world drops so far, so fast. This is why engineers call it a natural powerhouse. To put it simply, this gorge is like a giant battery built by nature. Every second, billions of liters of water slam downward, carrying enough energy to shake the mountains themselves. China's planners quickly realized the numbers were not just big, they were historic. A single dam here could generate up to 60 gigawatts of power. That is nearly three times the Three Gorges Dam. To understand what that means, 60 gigawatts is enough electricity to power whole nations. It could light up every home in Bangladesh, Nepal, and Cambodia combined. It could fuel entire industrial zones, trains, and cities. 
For Beijing, the gorge looked like the future of energy. Clean, renewable, and massive enough to secure China's power needs for decades. But here's the truth. Building in the Himalayas is not like building on the plains. Here, nature is not a partner. It is a rival. The same cliffs that give the river its speed also make construction a nightmare. The same deep valleys that trap energy also trap earthquakes, landslides, and floods. For scientists, the gorge was both a dream and a warning. Yes, it held the greatest power on Earth, but it also carried risks that could wipe out entire towns downstream. So while Beijing saw the gorge as the crown jewel of hydropower, others saw it as a gamble with fate. And that brings us to the next question. But when you build in the Himalayas, you're not just fighting nature, you're gambling with it. So what dangers are hidden here? The Himalayas are not just tall mountains, they are scars of a violent collision. For millions of years, the Indian Plate has been pushing into the Eurasian Plate. The ground here is still moving, still rising, still breaking. This is why the region is one of the most dangerous seismic zones on Earth. History already gave us a brutal warning. In 1950, an earthquake with a magnitude of 8.6 ripped through the region. It leveled entire villages, it cracked the land wide open, and it triggered deadly floods and landslides that killed thousands. Now imagine something bigger. Not just houses collapsing, not just hillsides falling, but a mega dam, a wall of concrete taller than skyscrapers, shaking under the same force. One strong quake could destroy decades of work in a single minute. A collapse here would not just break a dam, it would unleash a tsunami of water racing down the valleys. Cities, farms, and millions of lives downstream could vanish in hours. Engineers know this risk. They can design thicker walls, deeper foundations, and smarter sensors. But no human design can promise absolute safety against the power of tectonic plates. The paradox is clear. The same gorge that makes the world's greatest dam site is also one of the world's greatest danger zones. For China, the challenge is not just building high, it is building in a place where the Earth itself is always shifting beneath their feet. But earthquakes are only half the nightmare, because even if engineers tame nature, there is another storm gathering, one made not of rocks and rivers, but of politics. So here's the next question. If the ground itself is a threat, how are China's neighbors reacting to a mega dam that could one day control their rivers? For India, the river is not just water, it is life. It flows from Tibet into the northeast, where millions depend on the Brahmaputra for farming, fishing, and power. But when China announced its plan for a Himalayan mega dam, a fear spread across New Delhi. A fear whispered in one sentence. What if Beijing turns off the tap? That fear is not imaginary. If China controls the upper stream, it can control the timing and volume of water flowing into India. Too little, and crops could die. Too much, and sudden floods could drown entire towns. In 2021, India made its move. It announced its own 10 gigawatt dam downstream, one of the largest projects in its history. This was more than energy. It was a shield, a way to balance China's power upstream. But here lies the danger. When one nation builds a dam, the other feels forced to build another, and another, and another, until the river itself becomes a battleground of concrete. Asia's two giants, both nuclear-armed, are now locked in a dam race. Not with guns, not with missiles, but with walls of steel and water that decide the fate of millions. For farmers in Assam, this isn't just geopolitics. It's the question of whether their rice fields will see rain or ruin. For soldiers on the border, it's a reminder that wars don't always start with bullets. They can start with droughts and floods. India's dam is meant to be protection, but protection on one side often looks like provocation on the other. And while India struggles to shield itself, another nation waits downstream, a nation even more vulnerable, because for them there is no buffer, only the delta. So here's the next question. If India builds a shield, what happens to the millions living further downstream in Bangladesh? For Bangladesh, the Brahmaputra is not just a river. It is the lifeline of the nation. It feeds the rice fields, fills the fishing ponds, and keeps the delta alive. But when dams rise upstream, the flow changes. Not just the water, but the sediment, the rich soil carried down from the Himalayas. Without that soil, farmlands start to collapse. Every year, the river adds new layers of life to the delta. Take that away, and the fields turn to dust. The danger is real. 
Less water in the dry season means droughts. Sudden releases in the monsoon mean floods. Too little sediment means the land itself begins to sink. For the millions of farmers in the Brahmaputra Delta, this isn't just science, it is survival. Without crops, there is no food. Without food, there is no income. Without income, there is no future. The country that already fights cyclones and rising seas may now face its greatest threat from upstream concrete. The nightmare is not only hunger, it is chaos. When the land cannot feed its people, migration begins, cities overflow, borders strain, and stability crumbles. Bangladesh never built this dam. Bangladesh never chose this path, yet it could pay the highest price. So the question rises, why would China risk such turmoil? Why would Beijing push forward knowing its project could starve its neighbors? The answer lies not in rivers or fields, but in power. So why would China risk sparking hunger and chaos in its neighbors? What's driving Beijing forward? By the 2020s, China had become the world's hungriest nation for electricity. Every city, every factory, every home demanded more. Today, China uses twice as much power as the United States. Skyscrapers, high-speed trains, and endless industry all run on one thing, energy. But here's the problem. Most of that power still comes from coal. Coal that chokes the skies, blackens rivers, and fuels global warming. So Beijing made a promise. Carbon neutrality by 2060. No more dirty skies. No more dependence on coal. On paper, the solution is simple. Hydropower. Clean. Renewable. Endless. And what better place than the Himalayas, the water tower of Asia? But here's the twist. The mega dam isn't just about clean energy. It's about control. Whoever controls these rivers controls Asia's lifeline. Electricity for China, yes, but also the ability to tighten or loosen the flow for India and Bangladesh. To Beijing, the dam is more than a power station. It is a lever, a way to power itself and pressure its rivals. But here's the secret nobody admits. What is this dam really designed for? By mid-2025, analysts revealed a chilling truth. This Himalayan mega dam is not only about energy, it is also a weapon. Think about it. Whoever controls the rivers of the Himalayas controls the survival of South Asia. Every drop that powers China's turbines is a drop that could be denied to India or Bangladesh. This isn't just about turning lights on in Beijing. It's about turning lights off in New Delhi. It's about forcing farmers in Bangladesh to watch their fields crack and dry. For China, the dam is dominance. It means food security at home. It means leverage and diplomacy. It means no rival can breathe without Beijing's permission. But for its neighbors, it is disaster. One dam upstream could unleash floods in an instant or cut off water during a drought. It's not just a dam. It's a switch that decides who lives comfortably and who suffers. And that's why experts now call it the most dangerous project of our time. A structure built with concrete, but fueled by power politics. So here's the question we must ask. Is this really a green dream to save the planet or the world's most dangerous ticking time bomb? The $100 billion Himalayan dam is not only an energy project. It is a blueprint for controlling Asia's future. On paper, it looks like a triumph of green power. 60 gigawatts of clean electricity, a river turned into light for millions of homes, a symbol of progress for the world. But when you look deeper, the truth changes. What looks like clean power for China could mean floods, famine, and fear for its neighbors. For India, it could mean droughts during planting seasons. For Bangladesh, it could mean a silent collapse of farms that feed entire cities. The lesson is clear. True power is not about electricity. It is about who holds the river. And in Asia, rivers are life itself. That is why experts say this single dam is more dangerous than any weapon. It can light homes across China, or it can collapse nations downstream. It can create hope, or it can trigger hunger, chaos, and war. And so we return to the beginning. In 1953, China built its first dam as a small step into modernization. 70 years later, the same journey may spark Asia's biggest conflict over water. So here is the question history will ask. Will the Himalayan mega dam be remembered as humanity's greatest green project, or as the world's most dangerous gamble? The Himalayas are more than mountains. They hold both life and destruction. And now, China's mega dam stands right in the middle of that balance. 
If it is completed, it will be the most ambitious hydro project in human history. But it will also be the riskiest. A single wall of concrete could power nations, or it could unleash chaos across Asia. This story is not just about water or power. It is about the future of millions. Subscribe now for more deep dives into the mega projects that are shaping tomorrow's world. And tell me this, do you think this dam will be Asia's clean energy miracle or its greatest geopolitical nightmare?